that bastard here. I have a product here that uh, has been out for a couple of months now. I've finally gotten around to trying it for the very first time at all. It could be my thing, it's a flavour I absolutely love. So, um, a brand I'm a bit so so about, and a product they really don't give two stuffs about. So, let's give it a spin and see what happens, eh? Hopefully, it'll end well. It's the Cadbury Dairy Milk, sub brand, indulge with me. Uh, dog with crispy mint cream. There it is. I mentioned nutritional panel and ingredients. Now, I think we don't even stuff in that dairy milk. Um, the Australian made stuff is putridly sweet, the Irish stuff is, um, I would wax a surfboard with that and it's oily enough. And the British stuff is fake as fuck. Drinking of fake vanilla and is, is sadistically sweet and it has a horrific waxiness too. Hmm, really nice mini though. Doesn't look special. It's a very good chocolate bar. Now I'm missing the cupboard. So, um, there isn't a cabri out there that I like. And, oh, by the way, the raw dairy milk. And a bit of cabri semantics for you here. Dairy milk is the good cabri. Dairy milk is the same recipe they've been using for the best part of 200 years. Milk chocolate is a recipe that's about 10 or 15 years old where they took all the quality out. It has got the glass and a half of milk. It doesn't have the same percentage of cocoa butter, or even necessarily cocoa. And it's much, should be much, much sweeter. It is frankly disgusting garbage. So, um, bon appetit, I suppose. Yeah. Smells nice. Looks pretty. Let's find out. Got all these little crunchy bits and everything. I find very, I find extremely good at it. That's a decent shock overall. Absolutely gorgeous, sort of minty, almost cream center, like a cross between a cream and a fedant, fedant center. But it's got these bloody lumps in it, which is... Oh. <laughs> you see these things around where you're chomping shop. Those lumps are less than that. I can find the other one there, but I'm bullshit. I'm going to have to put that aside. I don't, you know, don't know what yours is. Get a hot chip swirled around the room, which so did cheat as a key in here. That should be fair side. Which is the same size as you prefer ham. I reckon. Well, I think not. There's bloody lumps beside. There's bloody lumps beside. Candy of some kind. May or may not have come off that. I couldn't honestly have more enough to tell. Bloody lumps aside. That is actually a really, really nice chocolate. For what it is. A good enough chocolate. A gorgeous infusion of mint flavour. If you like a minty chocolate, you will absolutely bloody well adore this. And I don't blame you. Except for one goddamn aspect. Those freaking crystallized 
candy you want. They're as irritating as all hell. They really are. Uh, unfortunately, in Cadbury Down Under, this is the closest you can get to just a normal mint chocolate. I'm going to make one of that sort of sugar sauce in a little capsule that I guess it's the same as this. They used to do a minty Oreo version. It had like a biscuit and then the fit in the little capsule. That was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Always overpriced though. And a pen and ass again. Not as rare as the strawberry one though. And that was actually better than it had any right to be. Well, they're not terribly good, which is why a lot of people stay away from it. And the original one was just awful. I mean, why? A bit of a side note, this is still a Capri product and it's still stupendously sweet. So don't go thinking, oh, I've had crap, Dad, I don't drink. So I'll have a bar of chocolate to melt my woes away and stuffing my face. Um, you do know about a pot of black coffee on hand and then a trip to the emergency room because you're a seeing things and feels like your heart's about yay big as it's so shriveled and distressed by all the caffeine as you're literally on the absolute cusp of dying of a cataclysmic stroke um don't say I didn't fucking warn you but it is still a cavalry product it is still breathtakingly sweet if you don't like sweetness or you're one of these little um, skirt lifters and go, oh, I could see ya! No, you didn't. No, you fucking didn't. You replaced refined white cane sugar with nitroglycerin. You do anything. You eat almost literally anything. And it has sunk variation degree or semantic type of sugar. And you go, oh, I could see ya. Hmm, you must like eating mud. I wonder if the bugs in it have sugar. Either way, I'm out of here.